Kayla. Now official Scott, President Biden officially naming Lael Brainerd, currently the vice chair of the Federal Reserve, to lead the National Economic Council and promoting longtime aide Jared Bernstein to chair the Council of Economic Advisors. Brainerd replaces Brian Deese, who departs later this month after two years as the White House's top economic policymaker. And Bernstein replaces Dr. Cecilia Rouse, who will return to her tenured role at Princeton after a two-year sabbatical. Bernstein's appointment will require a Senate conference. Information. For Brainerd, the move is seen within Washington's political circles as an elevation from one among a troika of top officials at the Federal Reserve to a role shaping the economic policy of the executive branch and all of its agencies. Former officials tell me the move was a natural next step given Brainerd's background and a possible precursor to future appointments at the Fed or Treasury. In a statement, President Biden praised Brainerd's, quote, extraordinary depth of domestic and international expertise, saying she is a trusted veteran across our economic institutions and understands how the economy affects everyday people. Now, as part of this reshuffling, the White House also announced Deputy NEC Director Bharat Ramamurthy will take on a new communications role, and Labor Department economist Joel Gamble will be the new number two at the NEC. Scott, back to you. All right, Kayla, thank you. That's Kayla Tausche with breaking news out of Washington. Now let's bring in CNBC senior economics reporter Steve Leisman, who joins us. So I want to talk about what this means for policy, Steve. The Doves just lost an important voice in the room, didn't they? I think so. Um, and I don't know that it matters immediately, Scott, as we were kind of talking about on halftime. The debate is not now and it's not to next month or the month after. The debate is something that it would matter more in the summer. Uh, when the Fed uh, is on a hold ostensibly and how long they remain at that hold and, of course, how high they go and how they react to it. Uh, Brainerd has been a, a person who has argued that there are other ways inflation can come down other than uh, weakness in the labor market. She suggested, for example, that high oil prices and, high, and the supply chain issues that created higher prices, if those went away, that might also bring down uh, prices in the service sector as well. She's offered an alternative theory. But importantly, Scott, she has not come forward with a different view on where rates should be right now. So this idea of going to 5% and holding there, I think Brainerd held that. So I don't think uh, a dove or any other person is going to come in and change the chair or even the broader committee's mind about that. Well, what about having the number two position, Steve, at the Fed open at an especially critical time, arguably the most critical for a Fed in decades? I think that's a good point right now. And, uh, you know, what they say, um, power abhors a vacuum. So really the question I think you're asking, Scott, is who steps in? And I think somebody like a Governor Waller, who has been very outspoken about the inflation dynamic, and we've had a lot of good conversations with him over time, he could become more important on the board. Uh, John Williams, a New York Fed president, who is, serves also as the vice chair of the Federal Market Committee, his voice would be more important. It's already important right now. And some of the other presidents may step forward. Remember, uh, Scott, we've had a lot of retirement out there. Guys like Evans, Esther George, they've stepped down. So there's still some sort of, I don't know what you want to call it, but ideological and, and intellectual reshuffling going on at the Fed as to who's really running the show. So I think that might, on balance, create some uncertainty when, you know how we come on all the time with all these Fed speakers, the question is, who do you listen to when? It may not be all that apparent to folks who's really uh, uh, the power behind the throne here.